Epilogue. We did the Xeon. We did the benches. But what are we doing on power? What's this puppy drawing? And well, it's drawing two and a half just sitting there. That's right. That's what Shot Glass says right there. 2.5 watts just sitting there idle. Great. It hasn't even started yet. Now, I'm going to go ahead and start it. Off it goes. All right. We're starting up now. Holy crap, 800 watts. Oh, sorry, 158 watts. Yep, this is just to boot up. This is just the computer, no monitors. That's right. Just the CPU. And, by the way, we have platters. This is a hard drive platter. That's right. Western Digital Black, is that right? Yes. And wow! I'll, I'll put specs down here in the... You know, they'll probably, you'll probably see them in the video here, but also put them in the... 149 Oh, wow. Oh! 191. I saw it go over 200 once. Okay, so now I know where my power bill's going, so there's that. So you're you're loaded. It's uh it's at the home screen. Okay. It's yeah, at the, it's the uh, home screen. All right. So this is just sitting at idle. Yep. So basically, we call it about 180 watts. Well, maybe 100. Wait, yeah, it's just fluctuating. So it's about 180. Well, it's probably hitting the hard drives too. So it's you know and fans and all that stuff. But that's 145 watts. I tell you, that's like 300 watts less at idle than that the old rig with the 285s and SLI that I had in here once. So, yeah, but, uh, I'm thinking 150, 140 watts. Yeah. All right. Okay. Bumped up a bit. I expect the Jane Nash demo to really push it. It's uh, it's still scanning. That's why it's running. Yeah. It. Uh, okay, was, now it's running. Starting to run. Jane Nash. Okay. Um, graphics text one. It's still loading. It's not quite going. It's loaded. Almost loaded. That's yeah, the wonders of hard drives. It's getting really close. <laughs> All okay, right. now it's running. It's running right now. All right. Yeah. We're over 300. That is, that is not bad. Considering what you used to pull, that's, ha that's less than half of what you used to pull. It is running. Okay. You're getting about... 106, 128, uh, depending on what you're looking at. You're getting good frame rates. This is with a Xeon, what was this, what's the processor? It's an X5660. With a, an NVIDIA 970. Yes. In there. And you got the full 12 gig RAM. Yes. Corsair so, Vengeance. Uh, Jane is still running right now. Yeah, you'll occasionally see that hit 200 FPS, too. Yes, and it's still, yes, it will, yes. We drop below 300. You're not pulling anything near what you used to. You used to pull about 700 watts. Yeah, yeah, well, that was with a pair of 285, mm -hmm. GTX 285s and SLI, which... Yeah. What was that processor we were on? Is that the Neolium 2? Yeah, that was the uh, the i7-940, yeah. yeah. Now, the Xeon, the difference between the Xeon and the, and the 940, the Xeon is a 32 nanometer process. The, the 940 was 45 nanometer. That's right, yes, so yes, that's true. There All is right. some power efficiency there. Okay, Jane's over. Uh, it should be loading the next uh, round. Uh, yep, yeah, okay, so we got new Helico. Okay, that one will stress it. Okay. That one is intense, and that'll Flowing. really stress the uh, video card. Flowing. I wouldn't be surprised to see 400 on this with that. Which is still half of what you used for. Uh, it's not quite running yet. Okay, now it's running. It's going now. 
Slowly building uh, towards... Wow. Haven't, haven't hit three yet. Very nice numbers on the kilowatt. 321. And you got good frame rates. You're near 200 on this. So, not bad. Oh, yeah. You were talking about Fire Strike was eating up NVIDIA. Yeah. That's, that's 3E Mark, isn't it? Isn't that the... No, I don't know that... Fire, the, not, uh, what's the fire, or the, the big donut. Remember the big donut? Oh, that's Furmark. Furmark. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. a month ago. Yeah, Furmark. There you go. In yeah. fact, I was uh, watching this week a story. Someone was talking about... No, actually, it was kind of old. It was an old PC per. They were talking about... They actually built in the drivers now that... Uh, if they see that app in the driver, uh -huh. they will automatically throttle the cards. Well, that's probably good because I heard that Furmark was actually burning stuff up. At least from the 580 days it was. We're hanging below 300 the whole time here. That's pretty good. Um, it's, um, it's still moving. It's still going. You got, uh, you're bouncing between 80 and 150 on the FPS. Okay, just went over 300. 322, 310. So you got a 970 with the Xeon here. Yes. Six core. You got 12 gig of RAM. Right. And the Xeon's currently clocked at 3.36. Uh, base oh. clock on this is 2.8. Here we go. The explosions are going off. And you're still over, well over 100 uh, FPS right now. And we're over 300 watts drawn. Well, it works. <laughs> now you're down to 50 range, but it's still, work. It's still going. And you're over 100 again. Yeah, you're at... Uh, We've stayed below about 330 the whole time so far. Which is amazing. It's amazing. I'm guessing this is going to be uh, near and yet. So uh, we're at 230 on the uh, time mark. So this is going to be near the end. Well, you're there's almost hitting 200 frames per second, almost. Now you're dropping down some. There's also the CPU test. I'm curious to see. Okay. They usually come up Next after the graphics. Next test coming up. Next test is coming up. CPU test right now. All right. And it's got ops and time. I can't tell you what it means. If you get over it, so it's good if it's over 2 FPS. I don't have an FPS. Oh, you got the one with the crashing planes? Yes. Yeah, okay. That's IOPS. Yeah, that's fine. Operations are hitting over 10,000. Well, but it's cumulative, so I mean, it mean much. Okay, now it's ended. Next one's coming up. Okay, now we got crash and burn. Mm. It's warming up. It's not started yet. Yeah, it'll do that for about a minute. And I can tell it's warming up because I'm seeing it climb. Not great, but climb. It's gone up about 30 watts since that started. What are we at? 260. Oh, now it dropped to 240. Wow. This is an efficient rig. Very efficient. Okay, it's still warming up. It hasn't actually done anything yet. I'm still looking at the warming up. And this is the uh, okay. Here we go. CPU test two. Ops and operations. Operations is cumulative. Ops is not staying around the two forty mark. Just under, really. Yeah. Okay, that's actually ended. It's already stopped. Uh, next test is coming up. I it didn't give me it. Okay, that was done. <laughs> I don't know what that was. <laughs> Uh, yep, yeah, I didn't, there's like a rainbow and it was over. Yeah, these are the, these are the card tests now. Okay, now we're at something else. It didn't give me a name. Looks like a lunar planet. Um, and you're at, uh, well over 100 FPS. Looks like a lunar base or something. And we're about 300 watts. Yeah, so you're, you're super fluid, no problem here. Yeah, I think there's a tessellation test in there at the end with the... Okay. 
looks like Jane Nash laying down, but she's all bit. Well, you're. That's okay, usually so that's, this is ended. The next test is coming up. That one's done. Okay. Future test. Uh, you only get 70, 80 FPS on that one. That's over. <laughs> that just ended. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yep. Yeah, that. Okay. So the, yep. Yeah, that's that one. I think this might be the last one. It's like a nebula. Yeah, the last one is uh, should be a girl laying on the floor that's all like bits. Okay, well we saw that, so oh, okay, guess, so that one's done. You're done. You're finished. Okay, so that's it. So and you got You got You want to know what your score is? What What did it give me? Thirty six five eighty eight. That's even better than the last time. So cool, and that's three D Mark Vantage. So yeah, I know it's DX ten, but. That's a pretty good uh, estimation of stressing this rig for the and average. How much water you're pulling? I mean, that's efficient. I never saw it go over 350. It's very efficient. So that's it. Cool. Thanks, guys. Yep. Later. All right. So we know what basically an eight-year-old eight rig with a seven-year-old Xeon can do for power efficiency. But here's something. What about a 7700K with a 1080 Ti? And a full 64 gig of RAM. Which one will be the most efficient?